everyone, it's Sophia, and I can't believe the day has finally come. Welcome to the AGBBC Cycle 2 Grand Finale. As you can already tell from the intense intro and the background color that's not black, this video is going to be very different from my usual AGBBC video. After this little intro, we're going to be showcasing the Cycle 2 photos, which is every photo every contestant has ever submitted during the entire Cycle 2. Then we're going to do critiques and feedback for Glamour Week, followed by the rankings for Glamour Week. Next, I'm going to do a little showcasing of the finalists' best photos. Then we're going to be revealing the prize for first place, followed by the overall places and scores. Then I'm going to reveal the other prizes for second, third, and fourth place, as well as your certificates. So let's take a look back at all the photos submitted for Cycle 2. As you can see, cycle 2 of the American Girl Bliss photo contest was an amazing cycle and had amazing photos. I truly think this was the best cycle of AGBPC I've ever hosted and I've seen some of the most amazing photography ever in this cycle. But now it's time to move on for the photos this week. This week's theme was Glamour Week so let's go! Our first photo for Glamour Week comes from our American Girl. I love how you used your doll Juno for this photo because she's really pretty and I think she fits perfectly into Glamour Week. I really like how you chose a more summery style for this photo even though it's winter. I really love this Love Shack fancy dress and I think it definitely fits the theme of fancy and glamorous. I really like the ruffles on the bottom of the dress and the bow. I also really like the pink sandals that you chose. They match really well and they definitely add to the fashion aspect of this theme. I also like how you added the circles and that effect to the picture, it makes it look really nice. Her hair is really beautiful and I love the location where you took this photo. I also know that you used my color corrector trick for the eyes and I think that makes her eyes pop out and stand out really well. To me it looks like this photo could have been maybe like an influencer taking a picture out in nature or something like that, which definitely adds to the glamour theme. My one critique is that the doll is washed out compared to the background of the photo. The background of the photo is really, really light and colorful, but then that kind of makes the doll look a bit washed out compared to it. So this problem is really common in American Girl photography where the doll is washed out but the background is beautiful, so I thought I would do a little editing tutorial on my way to do it. So I'm using CapCut, but you can do this method with pretty much any video or photo editor. First of all, I add an overlay of the photo that I want to choose. Then I make it scaled to the original photo just like that, making it right on top. Then I always go to the remove background option and I remove the background, that way you just have the doll. So if you want to see what I just did, I now have a picture of a doll separately. The feet are a tiny bit messed up, but I really don't think that matters. But now you can edit the doll without having to mess with the background. So next I go to the adjust feature. And I think you should do maybe a little more contrast because it is a bit washed out as I said. I also would have done a little more saturation just to make it pop out from the background more and sharpen it. Then I always use this auto adjust feature just in case it helps. In this case it washes out the face even more so I would just do a little bit since it does brighten up the doll. So now you have the after and this is how the photo looks with washing out the doll a bit less and this is how it looked before. So that is my only critique but other than that I think this photo looks amazing and I love it so much. Great job. Our next photo comes from AG Wonder Studio and this photo fits the theme of Glamorous so well. First of all, I love your doll's outfit and the way her hair is styled. It looks like her hair is up in a high bun with a little silver hair piece on it. She also has several layers of necklaces and jewelry which I think adds to the Glamorous part of the photo so much more. I really like the large hanging necklace with the jewel. I also love the gown. It looks like your doll Victoria might have worn it to an evening Christmas party and I think everything in this photo just looks really nice. I also really love how blue the eyes are. I don't know if you used a color corrector but I think that really adds a lot to the photo. 
I also really like her shimmery light blue ballet flats, also very glamorous. The tiara topper on the Christmas tree is adorable as well as the lights and the globe. I also really love the little presents and the way you wrap them. This photo has a really nice color scheme. I love how the background is gold but the color scheme is blue and you also have several different shades of blue from navy to a light blue to a medium blue. I only have two minor critiques for you. The first one is that her head looks a tiny bit too big for her body and scale to how an American girl doll looks in real life, so I would have taken the photo from a slightly lower angle. My second critique for you is posing of the doll. She's facing straight onto the camera, which I think you should have turned her into the Christmas tree a little bit which is a slightly more normal pose, that way she'd be facing diagonal but still looking at the camera, but I think this photo is really great. Our third photo comes from AG Swifty 16 and I love how you did a magazine cover. I think that idea is really creative and definitely fits in with the theme. I also really like how you made the title of the magazine Glamour because that's the title of the theme as well. I think your doll Felicity's jacket is perfect for this theme as well because it looks really fancy and really glamorous and something a celebrity would wear. I really like her crochet top and her pants because everything looks very fashionable. I also really like how you added the text issue 3 in December 2023 to make it look more like a real magazine. I also like how you added more text at the bottom which says trends for the winter and glamour's newest star. And how you added the doll's name at the bottom. I also really like how the font is consistent and I think this photo is really amazing. The lighting is perfect and the angle is really great as well. I also love the light reflecting from her eyes, making them look really bright and green. Overall, I think this photo is just really good. My only critique is that Felicity's hair is very messy. It doesn't look too bad since there's the text covering the hair and the focus goes straight to her face and her outfit, but I still would have brushed it out and sprayed it a little more when taking this photo. I also think the glamour text is a tiny bit too big so I would have shrunk it because it is touching the top of Felicity's head and taking up the entire top of the magazine. But this photo fits in with the theme really well and I think it looks fantastic. And finally, our last photo for the AGBPC finale comes from Baby and Me. Your doll's hair is really beautiful. I love the little hair accessories she's wearing on the right side of her hair. I also think her eyeliner looks really nice and the makeup is a really nice touch to make her look more glamorous. The outfit is also really glamorous as well. I love how it's hot pink, which is the color I think of when I hear the word glamour. I also really love how she has poofy white sleeves. I think that looks really cool and extra fancy so overall i think her outfit is amazing however the shoes are really cute but they definitely don't match i would have maybe chosen some white shoes or some plain color maybe even tried to match it with the hot pink but i think the shoes are a completely different shade of pink which is kind of making the photo a little bit clashy I do like how it kind of looks like she's on a red carpet. I can see that it says American Girl on the floor with some stars and American Girl's signature red color, so I think that's the look you were trying to achieve. But then you also added some text that says Vogue, which is a famous beauty magazine. So maybe you were trying to make a doll on the red carpet as a magazine cover, but to me it doesn't really look like either. The photo is a bit too tall and a bit too slim to be a magazine cover. And you aren't showing much of the red carpet. Plus, the title of magazines is usually really big and on the top, and yours is kind of not noticeable somewhere next to the knees. I would have added some flashy camera clicking effects like this to make it look more like she was on the red carpet, and put the Vogue text on the top instead of at the bottom, but I do really admire your editing skills with the black rectangle and how it looks like she's stepping on it. I think that is really cool. Your doll's pose also looks really good, but I would have turned her head slightly more to the right to make her look at the camera. And the photo is kind of dark, but overall I would have edited it like this. Basically, what I did here is I went for the magazine cover and the red carpet look. I added some sparkles and some effects at the bottom of her feet to make it look like she was on the red carpet. I also removed the font. I know my editor isn't the best at removing fonts, but this is the best I could manage. The next thing I did was I brightened up the photo because overall it was just really dark. Then I changed the ratio to make it a bit wider and a bit shorter to make it look more like a magazine. I also added the Vogue text at the top of the photo. The doll's face also did look a tiny bit dirty so I touched it up by blurring it a little bit. And while I was at it, I did the color corrector trick on the eyes to make it a bit brighter, added blush, and did eyelashes. I think this way the photo looks a lot more fancy and it fits the theme a lot better than before. But your photo was still really cute and I loved your doll's outfit.
So that's all for everyone's photos submitted this week, now it's time for the rankings, and these rankings aren't your overall places for AGBPC and do not determine who wins the prize, but these are just tied to these photos specifically. Now that the rankings and critiques are over, before I show the scores and the final places for AGBPC Cycle 2, I'm going to highlight each of my finalists' best photos. So I know the reason you all clicked on this video was to see your overall places and who would be winning the first place prize, but to build up anticipation, I'm going to be showing the prize before I show the rankings for this overall cycle. Anyway, let's get started showing what the prize is. First of all, we have these off-brand jean shorts as well as some off-brand jeans. Then we also have this red t-shirt that says Dream on it, followed by this cute mini cardigan. Then we also have this really adorable purple dress with some purple capris to match it. Then we have my favorite part, which is this dress set, as well as a blue American Girl dress with rhinestones on it. Then we have some American Girl pajamas. Here is the top and here is the bottoms. Next, we also have this Celebrate the Day at AG t-shirt, as well as these purple American Girl sneakers. So that's all for the first place prize, but now it's time to show the reason that you clicked on the video, and that is the overall places for AGBBC Cycle 2. So congratulations to all of the finalists of AGBBC Cycle 2! You all are such amazing photographers and I'm so honored that I had all four of you in my cycle. I want to offer a special congratulations to AG Wonder Studio who is the winner of AGBBC Cycle 2. Here are your scores from the finale. Your scores are all of the rankings from the finale added up together and the person with the lowest number has the highest rankings overall. As you can see, the competition was very close. But now let's move on to everyone's prizes. As was already shown in this video, this is the first place prize from my local American Girl resale shop. And this is the certificate for AG Wonder Studio. For the second place prize for AG Swifty 16, we have this certificate. And you also get to choose between a 3 minute collaboration AGSM or other collaboration of any kind or scripting my next stop motion. I will email you about this prize as soon as this video comes out. For third place for Our American Girl, we have this certificate and a detailed shoutout video showcasing your channel. Finally, for fourth place for Baby and Me, we have the same prize and this certificate. So that brings us to the end of the video and the end of AGBPC Cycle 2. This has been such an amazing cycle with so many talented photographers and just because you didn't win this time doesn't mean you can't win next cycle. I'm really sad that this cycle is over but it's been really fun being in it and judging your photos. I think everyone in this cycle including myself has really grown as a photographer and I can't wait to see what you all do next. In case you're wondering about joining AGBPC, I have been hosting this cycle for quite a while so I will be taking a short break, but AGBPC Cycle 3 should be opening late February or early March. Don't quote me on that though because the plans could always change, but when it opens there will be a video posted on my channel. Anyway, thank you and congratulations again to all of my finalists, contestants, and even viewers, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye, thanks for watching!